Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Transformation Tuesday. Um, for those who don't know, I'm Anne Sinclair and I'm the Digestive Detective. Um, today I'm going to be talking, it's a really quick case today, um, and, and it's a cute case, and I'm going to be talking about Amy. So Amy came to me just after she'd been in hospital for about three or four days um, with a massive bout of diverticulitis. Um, she had a history of constipation, she had numerous colonoscopies, suffered from pancreatitis, which is extremely painful over and over again. Um, there was talk that they were going to remove some of her bowel. Um, but the thing that drove this happening, I would suggest, is the amount of stress that she was under. Um, yesterday in my five mistakes people make in my life from yesterday, if you haven't watched it, pop back and have a look at it. I talked about um, people not taking um, positive action around their stress and, and seeking professional help because sometimes that's what you need. So with Amy, um, there had been issues with her husband. Um, he wanted to leave the marriage and for her it was really stressful because um, she had a child going through HSC and all those sorts of things. So it was particularly difficult for her. So one of the things we did first was not what I would normally do around diet and, and lifestyle. Um, basically, she was exhausted, um, really, really, really high stress and anxiety. Um, so what we talked about initially was um, just working on her adrenals to start with. Um, so we did herbs for that. Um, which for her was a lifesaver. Um, we also did stuff just around the diverticulitis and I sent her off with something that I don't typically do on the first consultation, but I sort of do as we go along. Um, I sent it to her with a way with a referral for a psychologist because I think when there is that much demands on your nervous system, um, you can't really process your food the way it's supposed to. So I read um, something yesterday about the higher our stress is, um, and, and I know this, but it was just reconfirmed to me, the higher our stress is, um, the more that it, it impacts our microbiome on an ongoing level. So over and over again. Um, and so because she had diverticulitis and such high stress, the diverticulitis wasn't going to get better until we dealt with some of that stress. So I think that was really an important piece for her. She did need to exercise. She was an exerciser. Um, so one of the things that we did was because she was so adrenally um, absolutely exhausted, what we talked about was doing things that nourish rather than things that punish. Um, for example, when we talked about um, exercise, we talked about yin yoga and um, meditative yoga rather than full out um, Bikram uh, or flow yoga, which is what she loved to do. So um, just doing things in a slightly different way. So I did also treat um, her and I didn't give her a food, mood and poo diary. I know, shock horror. Um, not the first time anyway, um, because there were bigger fish to fry. In, in Amy's case, we needed to get her back into um, a really good space in her body um, and, and in her mind, essentially, because um, with that gut-brain connection, we really need both to be firing re reasonably well to get you know a good result. So basically, we did um, herbs for her adrenals. We did um, a gut mix of just... Um, Things that would help with the infection. So we did vitamin A and some, um, like a really good product that I love that helps heal and seal the gut, takes away any infection. Um, so she did this for about three or four weeks and she went back to a gastro, basically had another colonoscopy and he said, oh my God, I can't believe how quickly that that's healed. And I don't think it was entirely the supplements that were given she really focused on nourishing her adrenals um you know taking good care of herself making sure she was surrounded with her friends making sure that they were doing stuff um that would fill her up instead of just always her giving 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 to everybody else so it just goes to show you that sometimes you need to go and do the other things first before you can come back and do the physical things um, did it change her having an operation on her bowel? No, I don't think so. I saw her three times um, and then after that I didn't see her again. I still think she went and had the operation on her bowel. They were chopping out some of her 
where she'd had really big pockets um, from the diverticulitis, um, which would not have come back. So they were actually going to resection her bowel. I think she still had that. Um, but the her space in the world was she was in a much better space um, psychologically than she was the day I first saw her. So it's important to remember that um, your body is a whole thing. When you get treated by somebody, you need to be treated as a whole. You're not just diverticulitis or you're not just um, IBS or you're not just something else. You're a whole combination of things. So all those things have to work um, together. And when I look at somebody, I don't treat them for their condition. I tend to treat them as um, who they, where they are right now, for one. Um, like if you're a meat-eating, um, you know, person that that lives for meat it's going to be hard for me to say to you well let's head over to more plant-based diet so it's meeting you where you are and then giving you tools to get you there incrementally rather than charge you there um try and get you to one space in in one moment so that's that's sort of the that was why I gave you an acute case today. I think that one of the benefits of um, sharing an acute case, you can see that it doesn't take much to get started. So this happened over the course of probably five or six weeks that I saw Amy. Um, so this happened quite quickly. Her um, So quickly, in fact, the, the second or third time she came back to get a herb refill, I actually opened the door and I didn't recognize who she was um, because she looked completely different. She'd had a hair cut off. Um, she looked really calm. She didn't look exhausted. She looked like she'd got a bit of a vibrancy back. So I think that's a real positive thing for Amy in this situation. And, and I think that um, the steps that she took to get there w was the best way to go. So I would say to you... Um, start small you don't necessarily have to start with the biggest thing start with the things that you can do and then work your way back from there so that's it for me today um i look forward to chatting to you next week i need to find a topic that's the, always the hardest part um if you've got any queries or anything um sign up for a free 15 minute consultation i'd love to talk to you and give you a plan of where to go next and what to do there's no hard sell or anything like that um just give you a plan so you can move forward and that sometimes the hardest thing is getting out of your own way to know what to do next um, and I got I struggle with that every day so I appreciate how it is for everybody else have a great day everybody talk to you soon bye